Hi, I've been doing loads of cropping and mounting and wrapping and labelling at the moment ready for a print fair. So I just thought I'd show you how I actually mount up my transparent artwork, um, my pieces on tissue paper and Japanese paper because they can be quite difficult to do. Um, and I like to float mount them so that's showing the edges uh, and having them just sit on the mount board. So I'm going to show you how I do that now. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. I'm going to be adding lots more videos as I go along. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, I'm Ruth Ander Prints on all of those. Or you can pop along to my website, which is ruthander.co.uk. Uh, and if you want to be first to see any new work or get discounts on workshops or um, anything like that, then you can subscribe to my mailing list and you can do that via the website. So here I have a crop down piece of um, artwork that's on tissue paper. I've got my mount board here and this is transparent tissue and I want to float mount it so that it just sits on the board like so. So what I use for this is a particular type of tape. It's called hinging tissue, self-adhesive hinging tissue. Um, you can get this in lots of places. You can you can Google it and find it. Um, often photography um, suppliers have it as well. Um, and essentially what it is, is it's like tissue paper tape tissue paper but one side is sticky. Um, this particular type is pH neutral as well so it's archival um, so you can use it uh, for your really nice prints that you want framed up beautifully and that you want to stay good for a long time. So what I do is I'm going to cut two pieces Okay. I'm going to flip my artwork round so that I'm working on the back of it and what I'm going to do is make a cross with my tissue paper, so tissue, um, self-adhesive tissue. So I've got the sticky side facing outwards there and I'm going to make a cross by putting the sticky side facing away there. So I have sticky on each side essentially. So I'm going to stick that piece of tape onto the back of the artwork. Now the idea being that although this is pH neutral and it's really low tack so you can take it off and reposition it if you need to and it's really easy to take off if you need to, still it's a good idea not to have too much adhesive or as little as possible adhesive touching your artwork. Um, so we just uh, do a little cross like that and I'm going to put one in each corner that's generally what I do you can do a bit more especially if you have a larger artwork or one that um, is, is a bit less flat than this but I tend to just do each corner and I find that this um, is a, a sort of good in-between way between what framers will do often, which is sort of dry mounting, which is sort of spraying a chemical onto the back of your um, print, um, or they may well do uh, tape the whole thing down. Um, and that's fine if they're doing it with archival materials, etc., and, and they know what they're doing. But sometimes if you just want to float mount something, it's not going to be framed straight away. Perhaps you're going to sell it unframed. Perhaps you just want to get things the way you want them. Before you take them to a framer and this is a nice easy way to do it. So I've got my four crosses there in each corner, they don't have to be perfect. I'm just going to flip it over and because you've got some sticky facing upwards as well it should stick beautifully. You just use hand pressure to press down. I'm just going to reposition that bottom bit so it's easy enough you just pull up and gently reposition and there we have it your float mounted tissue paper and you really can't see that tape at all once it's been pushed down <laughs> 